Hi Greta and thank you for meeting us. And congratulations again on the victory in uh, Sönka Kipnes Jómasis this year. Uh, I know that people want to know uh, if you have any favorite songs in the competition this year. Um, I have to admit that I haven't been watching out for all the other songs too much. Uh, well, not lately at least, because we've been really busy with all the preparations. We had to um, we had to deliver the song uh, f fully, you know, the final version, I think it was yesterday, the day before that. So we've been really busy with making the video and doing the final version and arrangements and stuff like that. So I've been really focused on that and I just decided not to... Um, uh, not to really get involved with all the other stuff, but just to really focus on this product. And after that's done, then I can, you know, start to look out and, you know, listen to the other other songs. Have you seen uh, any of the songs that will be in the first semi-final? Uh, yeah, I've seen, I've seen the um, the Russian ladies. <laughs> I think they're, I think they're uh, amazing. I think that's the only, I think that's the only song that I've, that I, yeah, I think that's the only song that I've heard from our first semi-final. I know that uh, it, it has been a, uh, a secret what will be in the, in the video. Can you tell us something about it? <laughs> yeah, I can tell you that the first time that I saw the video um, at the production company, I, I, was, I was amazed. I couldn't speak and <laughs> I even cried at some point. It was, um, the video is, there, there are no words, you know, it's, it's amazing and the way the the di director got this this feeling into it, the f same feeling that I had when I was writing the song, there was something about the chemistry, you know, between the song and the video that just made this product. And I'm, um, yeah, I was I was speechless when I saw it. So uh, I I really hope that the audience and the people that will see it, I think, I th I, well, I hope that it'll have have the same impact on them as it had on me and I'm I'm still I just when I when I think about the video I just get I get chills and you know I get excited and it's everything that I wanted and more. Can you tell us what places in Iceland we, we, we will see in the video? Yeah um, we were, at first we were aiming at going to the southern part of Iceland it's um, there have been a lot of music video making there and I mean it's it's a beautiful scenery but then we thought well maybe we should do something a bit different so we went to the um, the western was it the south western peninsula. It's called Reykjanes in Iceland, and um, uh, the landscape there is it's kind of it has the extremes. It has lava, it has sea, it has uh, lakes, it has green. It's it's really it's a really um, special kind of landscape. So we went there, and the results were like I said, it was everything we we wanted. Yeah. But what can you tell us, uh, how, how did you decide whether you wanted to, to do with the lyrics? Because people are telling the Icelandic language is so beautiful. Can you tell us whether you will have it in Icelandic or, or in English? <laughs> well, that would be a spoiler alert. <laughs> well, we're going to, um, when we premiere the, the video, people are going to see if it's in Icelandic or English. What I can tell you is that um, I tried both versions and at first I was really sat on doing the Icelandic one. Then I was sat on doing the English one, then I was back sat on doing the Icelandic one. But um, I recorded both the versions and both the Icelandic and the English one. And um, I had a, a, I think it was about a week that I had to listen to both the versions and decide. And I decided on the better one. In my opinion, it's, it's the better one. And if that would, would be Icelandic or English, it would be for the best of the song. And that was my main goal, at, you know, from the beginning. It was to choose every time that I had to make a decision, it would, it would be for the better of the song. Not just, you know, not to get more votes or anything. It was just, you know, it was, um, I believe it was the right decision. And there's not a doubt in my mind now that I made the right one. Did you make any changes to the song? Yeah, we um, we added, I think it was 30 people from the, yeah, it was about 30 people from the Icelandic Symphony Orchestra that came and recorded some strings, and that added some, I, I think you would say it was, it was the depth that we needed to the song. It, you know, 
there comes a lot of power with 30 people. <laughs> so that's um, that's what we did with the with the string arrangements. Then we added some drums and some percussion. So it's more. Um, I wouldn't say that it's a not necessarily a bigger version, but it's a tighter one, and I'm I'm really satisfied with it. I never get chills, you know, especially not with you know things that I'm doing. But when I listen to the final version, I I got just chills, and I think that you know it says a lot. Will you have the same people with you on stage in Baku? Mm -hmm, yeah, every single person. <laughs> Have you Googled uh, something about Baku or seen pictures or seen the stage pictures? Um, again, I haven't. I haven't really done the uh, the preparation work for the competition. I've just been preparing, you know, the song and the video, and my all my attention has been on that. But um, the only thing that I've seen from Baku is the hotel that we'll be staying in. Um, I've seen some pictures as well, uh, and we're gonna do. The group is gonna do like. Um, like a preparation meetings, you know, with, with the person from Azerbaijan. So we're gonna prepare. But the only thing that I've seen from the competition is the stage and the, you know, the stage setting. And I think it's, I think it's gonna look really, really great. I hope so, at least. <laughs> I report we were uh, talking about your dress in the, the semifinals and in the final in Iceland. Will you use the same dress or will you make <laughs> a new one? Um, it's like I've taken an oath not to say anything. <laughs> well, um, I can't say anything, but we've, we're still deciding on the, on the dress. I think we're gonna try to keep the, the you know, traditional elements in it. But we're, of course we're gonna make some changes. There are gonna be adjustments and changes and hopefully for the better. Um, it'll, I don't know if it'll, if it'll be another dress, but I think it's gonna be in the same direction as the one that I had in, in, the, in the semi-final in Iceland. Do you think you will use uh, some stage presence uh, in Baku? Because the, the, the song is really Icelandic. Will you use something from Iceland in, in the stage presence in Baku? Um, I actually think that the song speaks for itself. I, I'm not... Um, I always like when music doesn't need anything around it. I like when there's no, what should I say, um, when there's not a big show and you're just drawn into the music and the music is the main focus. And I think that if we believe in our song enough and if we present it well enough and if we just go determined to do our best and to deliver the song, um, I think we don't need, you know, big props or, you know, an Icelandic tree or something, you know, on stage. But we're definitely going to take bits and pieces with us, you know. But I don't know if it'll be, if it'll be visible on stage, but you, you'll definitely feel, you know, the Nordic power. <laughs> what do you think your chances are in Baku? <sighs> I, I don't think anyone knows their chances. If they did, you would, <laughs> you would decide not to go or to go. <laughs> Um, I think it, I think there's no way of knowing until after the performances. I think um, when when you're competing live, it almost always depends on the performance. If the performance doesn't go well, your odds, you know, they're not up. So I think it depends on the performance. And if we if we um, prepare well enough, and if we're really ready for the stage performance, I think. I think we have, you know, the same art as anyone else. <laughs> Do you have any message to the ESC daily readers that are watching? Um, thank you so much for your support. And I've really felt um, the interest in the song. And I am really grateful that people take their time to write to me, you know, and tell me that they love the song or, or if they don't. <laughs> but I, it, it, really, it really matters to get feedback and to know that what you're doing is not, you know, people are really listen, listening to it and, you know, it, it makes it all worthwhile. You're launching the video on Monday. Mm -hmm. where, where can your foreign friends uh, watch the video on Monday? Well, um, it's going to be premiered on Vodafone.is on Monday at noon, Icelandic time. Um, I don't know what, what time that is in Europe, but it's noon. It's 12 o'clock Icelandic time on Monday. 
Uh, and we're going to post the YouTube link shortly after, so it'll probably spread <laughs> sometime after noon. And then we have, um, we have a t TV premiere, I think it's 7.30 p.m. at Roof. So it's going to, it'll be out there on Monday. <laughs> You're launching also a homepage. What, what, what will uh, the link be? It'll be www.gretasalome.com. So people can watch uh, everything there and, and get some news from you. Yeah, that'll be the site where we'll um, put all the blogs in and the news and the you know the videos, everything that has to do with this competition and with with the song. So yeah, that, that'll be the place to go. Okay, thanks very much, Greta, and best of luck in Baku. Thank you so much.